Okay, today we're going to talk about existence being benched by Game of Legion. Um, I will go through a bit of background. What is Game of Legion? How did they become a team? And uh, but, yeah, that's basically the background. Like how how did they first form the team? What what why did they form the team? And uh, just minor background like. How did they get to this point? Then I'm gonna go through why he's leaving, and after that I will just talk about what I think will happen. Uh, we already know what will happen, and uh, we will also I will also talk uh, a bit about what I think he can do, uh, what might happen to him, uh, certain options that should be in his. Um, for, uh, should be out there for him. So let's uh, start with um, seeing. So on January 8th, uh, Scream and Existence, uh, well, this actually started before January 8th this, this year. Uh, Scream left the Team Envious, like uh, Team Enemy, uh, early 2018, and after that he was a stand in for different teams, mostly actually Swedish teams, which is weird because he doesn't speak Swedish. But he uh, speaks uh, really good English and uh, they adapted since almost all Swedish players uh, speak well, sp speak better English than I do. Uh, I say most. I know some pros that actually have a quite horrendous English skill, like Olof Meister. I can, I can barely understand what he's saying. Uh, but he, he doesn't play with Scream, so that doesn't matter. And then it was Existence who, in uh, I think it was uh, late uh, late 2018, he was benched by G2, and his contract ended in uh, mid February 2019. So in, on January 8th, uh, a journalist called uh, DK announced that Scream and Existence were uh, having this project where they wanted to create a team. They they didn't want to join a team, they wanted to create, they wanted to do something from the ground and build it upwards. Like, have their own set of ideas and do it their way, the correct way, according to them. Because if you know that Existence, he was in IGL in uh, G2, and he had an interview uh, where he said, well, like, why I started following him was because of an interview where he said, he wanted to change the meta of the game. He wanted to renew the game. He wanted to be the best or just build a team. And that's why they started this from a team from the ground. He could pick his players. He could do whatever he wanted. He, yeah, more or less like that. And uh, how his team structure could break the meta, as he, as he called it. Sadly, I can't find that particular interview, which is weird because it's a really great interview and it was on HLTV so it should be easy to find, but their search function is not working properly. So what happened was that um, Scream, he was currently a stand-in for Red Reserve in from, I think it was from uh, like New Jersey Eve and uh, forward because of certain issues in Red Reserve, the Swedish organization. And here's one of the things that was a problem with Red Reserve and why it was possible for Scream and Existence to just move into the team and uh, recreate Red Reserve. Uh, or not recreate, but take the basis of Red Reserve and build around that and build up the team that they wanted. So Disco Doplan was Formerly a player of um, Red Reserve, one of the star players, not star players, but one of the core players and one of the uh, more experienced players in Red Reserve. He tweeted this on February 8th, 2019. As of yesterday, I officially terminated my contract with Red Reserve after a breach from their side. I will be looking in for a new team during February, March, while I work to improve both in and outside of the game. I'm hopeful and excited to see what 2019 has to offer. For his part, it, okay, so first part, 
it is what breach did Red Reserve do? Uh, Red Reserve had a massive uh, economic loss. I don't know how, I don't know why, I, I haven't found much about that, but just a couple of months later they uh, dissolved not just uh, the CSGO team, but they had resolved, like, they, they took away everything, the stream team, the, the COD team didn't get paid, and stuff like that, so they couldn't pay salaries to their players, and this is something that was quite known in the Swedish scene, but people didn't talk about it. Uh, so uh, Disco Doplan was the first one to out this. If I remember correctly, it might be Freddy B might have done it uh, around the same time. And uh, I think it was uh, two months later they just dissolved the whole organization because of this economic uh, mishap or backlash or whatever you call it. So uh, what was left of Red Reserve teamed up with Scream, which they knew since he was a stand-in for them for a whole for a couple of months and uh, so according to uh, existence in an interview uh, during Charles Roy esports game uh, which was a the first land that uh, Game Legion went to uh, they talked about the history and he said that uh, they found the team in Red Reserve they found the organization that wanted to play with them and do what they wanted but then this happened and the economy just blew him out like mm, this didn't happen because of the economy but they still had the players so it was Hampus who was the IGL of Red Reserve he was an all-around player he usually plays lurk role or the rotation role uh, and it was uh, let's see Draken a, an opera who for some reason is tier 1, 2, 3 and most Swedish teams like to have him and some international teams also I am not a Draken fan so I'm not gonna go into too much of that but I don't see why people want him in this level of teams the other players were Sane, the Finnish guy now playing for No Chance it was HS uh, now playing for Game of Legion and uh, who was the? Is that all? Yeah, that that that's all the players. Yeah. So, uh, according to existence, same interview in Schalke esports game. Uh, it was with him and Scream in French. So the translation I found was not 100 percent, but it it, it made it, it was it was good enough for me to understand what they were talking about. So. Um, was uh, he said that how he wanted to build a team like now talking about existence he wanted to build a team where he already had the roles in his mind he already knew how to build a team how to form the basics and the foundations of the team so we wanted to have scream as a sort of support player but not support player as you see RPK or uh, how who else could we find that is a really good support player? Uh, Flamey in certain matters. Edward, when he played in Navi. Not that sort of a supported player, but someone who could stay back and uh, be late into the round and be more like Sipix. Uh, he wanted to have Sipix and his team, and he wanted Scream to be that because he knew that he could tap some heads. He could manage to be by himself. He could manage to support with uh, the extra frags from behind <coughs> and make sure that the uh, enemy teams didn't uh, flank them. So he wanted that. He wanted an entry, but that wasn't as important. He just wanted someone to frag for him and to have the fragging potential. Uh, he wanted an, uh, to have an opera who uh, could be m mobile. Uh, move around a lot and he found that in Draken uh, and uh, Draken seems to be a guy that most people who play with him love him as a person they like him as a player but for certain reason nobody can seem to find a good use for him 
if they could he would be in either NIP or uh, in Fnatic right now he has tried for both teams in NIP for multiple occasions and still nothing so there must be a reason for that because all you hear from his former teammates is that he's a wonderful guy great player and does what he should for the team but still he's playing for Ancient which is uh, well finally a top 25 team in the world but who knows they, they can drop as soon as after the minor uh, and then it was either Sane or um, HS and here's the tricky thing like when it was this uh, interview Existence talked highly about Hampus, he talked highly about Scream, he talked highly about both Draken and Nock. Nock who later uh, took uh, Draken's place because Draken had an offer with uh, NIP, so he left the Uruguay project, which was uh, the old Red Reserves combined with uh, this uh, Existence and Scream lineup. And, uh, yeah. So Nork uh, and Hampus had really great, like, Existence talked highly about both those players, and then it was like, yeah, and then I choose uh, to keep HS. He didn't say anything more about that. I, I will get back to a bit about this. But it didn't say anything else, but like, I like his fragging power, I like his positioning, I like his entry. No, it didn't say anything, and it didn't say anything why he left out Sane, because in my book, Sane is... Uh, a more complete player. He's uh, they're quite similar in playstyle, but if you just check the stats or the consistency of how he plays in No Chance and how HS plays in the Game of Legion, I think Sane is a much more complete player like now, right now. But I, I think that HS could be that. It's just a mentality thing, which is a word that will come back later on mentality so okay that was how Uruguay was formed they played MDL uh, for their red reserves but didn't get paid for it so th they did that and on March 29th this was the statement made by the CEO of Game Legion our goals are clear we want to become one of the leading organizations in the industry and with the long-term commi commitment of these athletes we are taking a huge step forward. We will do our best to support the players in the best ways possible to create ideal training conditions for them with professional support. Okay. So what what he's talking about here is that they signed um, Uruguay as their first uh, CS:GO team because it's uh, Game of Legion is actually a organization that trains esports coaches. That's what they do for a living and they have recently gotten into a lot of esports currently spanning uh, Fortnite, Rainbow Six, uh, CSGO, uh, Rocket League, I think Hearthstone, I'm not sure about that but uh, I think so. So uh, one final thing here, long-term commitment uh, and they wanted to be one of the top teams in the world. And I want to say that if it's four, th four months ago, is it even four? Is it like three months ago? They signed this team and already they do some lineup changes. That to me shows that long term commitment might not be. Let's just. Put that into an asterisk. Like, uh, uh, if you want long term, then why change something after three months? I can understand the change. I can see why this is the best option. We will get to that uh, later on, but yeah. Here's what uh, Existence said more or less the same day, or maybe it was the day after. I couldn't find the exact source for this. It was just HLTV who quoted Existence, but it didn't say where it was from, and I couldn't find the actual interview with this, but it said, I am super happy to start a new adventure on the Team Game Legion. This is my first international team, and there's a lot of work ahead of us since we start from zero, especially for, for me, since it's my first time calling in English. I'm ready for this challenge and can't wait to climb the ranks, which everything of this seems to be correct in the 
if we just look at results. When they started it was MDL and they were doing quite nicely. Uh, the first couple of long, uh, uh, stage tournaments and everything, they had decent results against good teams. They actually had great results against decent teams, but they have improved a lot during these three months. Uh, so, uh, this happened yesterday, and that's why I'm making this video. I didn't plan to make this video, but yesterday, around this time, uh, the manager of the CSGO team, I am Bonafide, Joel Eriksson, uh, released this onto Game Allegiance Twitter, which is the only place you can find this. You, you, I haven't found any other tweets, I haven't found the tweet longer, I haven't found any sort of statements since yesterday from anyone, but this exact quote and what existence have made in a tweet longer, which I will read quite soon. The team has seen some internal struggles lately, which culminated in the decision to, uh, to place existence on the bench. We want to thank Kevin for all his work and dedication over the past months which laid foundation for the future. It's always a hard decision to remove a player from your lineup, but sometimes it's necessary for the betterment of the team. I wish existence and the uh, very best uh, I wish existence the very best in the future. He's a great leader and an amazing teammate. End quote. Like uh, right here it, they point out like uh, what you're really saying is that uh, it isn't about the fragging power of existence. They're not unsatisfied with him as an IGL. They are not unsatisfied with him as a person. They're not unsatisfied with anything that comes to existence. What they are concerned about, and this is why they benched him, I'm pretty sure that they could probably put him on the transfer list if it was... Like, okay, let's not get into that, but I think that they are not unhappy with him, but the team has some internal issues, as they say here. here they said, uh, where was I? Internal struggles was wording. And we got back to that, uh, what internal struggles they had. And I think it is between certain players, where it is existence versus one or two team members. And my guess here, I can't confirm this because I haven't talked to any one of these people uh, today or yesterday. Uh, I actually talk to some of these people on a weekly or monthly basis. <coughs> Which is also why I might be a bit... Uh, I'm biased. I'm biased as fuck. I'm a big, huge supporter for both the team and the players. I love four out of the players I, and like the fifth player. Some people know who the fifth player is. But yeah, since they released Draken and took in Nork, I was on board with this. When it was Uruguay and it was Draken, I wasn't on board with this. I was waiting to see what would happen because I didn't believe in Draken. When Draken left and the Nork came in, one of my absolute favorite players right now, I, I was like, yeah, I'm 100% on board. This team is amazing, I love it, I don't care if they do greatly or not, it's just gonna be amazing to see them play. Okay, back to the story here. So Existence released this yesterday, a few hours after uh, he was benched uh, in a tweet longer. There is the bad news, I'm out of the GL team. Big hard blow because you can imagine I put so much energy f uh, to first create the team from zero and then setting up the foundations in-game, out-of-game, but it, it is how it is. The situation is not easy to summarize, but let's say that we had a lot of internal problems lately due to different reasons. Discipline, game style, understanding of the game, etc. I really gave my best to fix it as much as I could, uh, but in the same time, you know me guys, I don't have my tongue in my pocket. I felt that everyone was doing the, uh, his thing in the team, but I never really felt that we wanted to create something all together. It just looks like we have all the different individual interests. Maybe it's the inter international team side, should not be the case anyway. May also be that we lacked some supportive passive players who just do the jobs to make things easier for the team. Probably. 
Anyway, the mood of the team was really bad lately and a change was needed to keep the team alive. I could do better sometimes at leading or playing individually, but in general I know I helped the team to the better and I'm still proud of our progression, progress, progression since the beginning of the project. So I will take it and uh, I will take all the good memories I can. The beginning of the team with the bootcamp, first days working in English, the loot bet win, the second place in Portugal, and all the different uh, wins against top teams. I wish good luck to each player and to the uh, and player on the team for the future. Special and emotional goodbye to my coach Krille and my manager Bonafide, with, uh, with whom I really enjoyed working. And big up to Hampus, who was the good surprise of the team for me being a perfect teammate and made things easier for the team in addition to be such a complete player. In brackets, yeah, Tim is uh, shining in everyone's eyes, so he's not a surprise. And brackets. I take a step back and I come with more information as soon as my mind is clear. Like this was less, yeah, it, this was about 16 to 20 hours ago, so don't expect much in today maybe a few days, maybe a few weeks. It depends on what works out. So uh, let's go into what, what what is coming back to here is he's not unhappy with what the team is doing or or actually he's unhappy with the team and certain player or missing elements of the team and that causes friction. Friction between him and either one or multiple players in the team. Okay, we can we can exclude that it is with uh, the coach and the uh, manager, because everything that I heard, everything that, as he says, special and emotional goodbye to my coach Krilla and my manager Bonafide, with whom I really enjoyed working. That just this is me speculating, but. Everything I've heard and that quote, I don't think there's any tension between Krille and Bonafide and uh, Existence, even though there are some hilarious moments from, uh, I think it was the MDL, uh, Mountain Q League uh, playoffs against Vitality, and Moche XL uh, Esports Gaming, where you can see how Krille almost looks at existence like, I want to do your job, I want to sit in your chair, I want to sit in your place, I want to do what you're doing. Like every time you see his face, it's the same expression like, I want to be you, I want to be instead of you. It is hilarious, but I don't think it was friction there, I think it was more admiration. And we can exclude that it was Hampus, because Hampus was more or less hand not handpicked, but he was ple pleasantly surprised and he fit the role that Existence already had in his mind. Like it was a perfect match between Existence, Scream and Hampus. So long. That was the perfect element. But here's the thing that they created this team, Existence and Scream created this team by themselves. And then brought in the Red Reserve team and later on Nock. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, and uh, Krill and Bonafide also come from Red Reserve before anyone asks where they came from. They're, they are not from Game Legion from the beginning. I don't know if Krill might have a degree from there or whatever. Uh, I have no idea. I could probably ask him, but I don't feel like it. Uh, but the thing is, so Scream, uh, Existence have known Scream for at least four years, probably ten years, maybe even more than that. And he knew how to utilize Scream in the best way possible, which is something that you can see. Scream has, during the past month, has had an average rating almost around his peak rating of all time. So check that out, and he might have had, uh, if this continues to just stabilize and stay stable on this level, which is unlikely because existence is leaving. But if he does, this might be his best year ever, and he has been top 22 years. So just take that in mind. But I think that uh, existence had hopes for Scream to be more laid back, be more 
passive but that's hard because that HS who was supposed to be the who is the entry fragger who supposed to opening up which he when he does there's not much that can stop game legion but when he doesn't they can struggle against even worse teams they meet so statistically there's a problem with the HS and existence like not existence and HS but the team mentality is that uh, the, the, the team structure and the strats and the basic fundamentals is that he existence need a, an entry frag that he can rely on but the problem with the HS is that he's unreliable in the matter of consistency in the matter of his working hours in ma we have reports about this from long time ago he has been dropped from bigger teams because of this he has been uh, putting in numbers in other smaller teams but still not be picked up because of this issue so here we can see the first thing that existence and HS probably doesn't match. But why kick existence and not bench HS instead? Since existence more or less does what he does and nobody seems to be uh, unsatisfied with what he does for the team. But existence seems to be unsatisfied with HS. And as he said, uh, what was the quote? I'm going to... Decision, uh, discipline, game style, and understanding of the game. This comes to me. I think it is HS and maybe even Nork. But Nork has, I think it's top twenty best stats of the year in the world right now. It is insane how good this person is. He he is too good to be playing in a top twenty team. He is supposed to be playing in a top five team. If he played this well in Fnatic. Ninjas in pajamas, in face, in mouse sports, he would be a contender for the top 10, top 15 players of the year, without a doubt. The problem is that they have similar players on his role and will probably not uh, pick him up, or maybe Nip will, but that's another story. So the problem here is that Existence has at least problem with the HS, in my mind, maybe with Scream, because Scream is not really doing what they talked about when this team was new and uh, Scream and HS seem to like each other Scream likes to enjoy everyone and Scream also has a history of lacking discipline when things go get rough and here is the internal struggles I'm just gonna quote some uh, tweets from existence I've tried to find the other tweets but it seems like he has deleted some of them I know that he had a, had a problem with Nock earlier, but I think it was more banter than actual friction. Because Nock often forgot to buy a smoke grenade. Uh, fun story. Two defeats today against Sprout GG and Valiance and company. Uh, this was on June 3rd, and uh, they lost to both their teams in MDL. Both teams played well and deserved a win, but we could uh, take two wins if we had a better mentality. I would prefer to lose because we lack tactics or, or whatever, but it was, but it's part of the game. We will work on it and fix it. Uh, not really though. They haven't fixed this unless they meet an extremely good team where everyone has to be in the same mental state. Against Furia we see this, against Vitality we can see this, against Valiance in the later game or when they were crazy, I don't know what it was, but yeah, then it could be, then they were more focused, they were doing a better job, but whenever they meet a team that they think they were gonna win against or that they don't have to be playing their best, it seems like uh, they lose easy rounds and sometimes even the whole map because of mentality. <laughs> and here's the tweet that I didn't find. Uh, it was about uh, him talking, uh, existence talking about uh, uh, certain members. He didn't say who, but if you watched the game, you could see it was Scream, Hampus, and HS. All of them could plant the bomb and after that just run around going for kills. Exit kills, eco frags, stuff like that. 
they could get one kill, but then they got killed themselves, so it was a trade or something like that, and uh, the team therefore suffered economic economically the next round. Because you only get uh, a certain amount of money if you win the round. And if you have three players surviving, then you can drop and it doesn't really affect your <coughs> economy. But if you have less than three players, it affects your economy badly if you hunt for frags. So you, you could see that happening, but sadly I couldn't find that exact quote to find a date and could um, tell you what games it was against. Then again, a few, month, a few weeks later, he said this. Lost Zero 2 versus Team Vitality in MDL game. Well played to them. Not doing the GGL LAN in Poland this week and with the team cause I'm, I have my cousin's wedding. And to be honest, it might be better like this. Some stuff took me all energy lately and I need to recharge my batteries. 1630 Vertigo, 1960 Nova Pass. Remember this is against a team that a few days ago were ranked number 3 in the world. And two weeks ago, it was one overtime, and the other one was three rounds. And he's still complaining about the mentality. Not in this game per se, but this was a, during a really tough time for the team because they had like 70, maybe 80 games in just a few weeks. So it was a rough time, and I understand that he wanted a short break, even if it was just for a weekend. But it was a good time. It was a good result, but he still had some friction. He he, he doesn't say it out loud, but he's uh, certainly suggesting that there is an issue within the team. And the issue is, to me, to me it looks like it's HS. Maybe Nock, maybe Hampus, maybe Scream. I don't think so. But the combination was that it became a problem between HS and Existence. They couldn't get along. So it was... A, matter of time before one of them had to leave and my guess is that they asked the team what is the best thing to do and existence being a nice guy he said like i can be benched or something like that or the other team's teammates said that why not uh, like we have an igl in the team already we have someone who can step in the right way then we can take in more or less anything we want uh, anyone we want that is a top tier player we can bring in kiyoshima body uh, Flasha, uh, Dennis, or whatever, and uh, make a new team around that. See what works out, and in a few months we know what's what will happen. Because they only have one or two uh, tournaments coming up. They only have one event coming up, or maybe it was two. Not not that big a deal actually. Um, so what is happening right now is that existence is on the bench. Dennis is signing his paper probably today. Yesterday it was out that he will be the replacement for existence. He made an ambiguous tweet about it a few hours ago. I think it was around uh, 10 o'clock, uh, 10 p.m. last night. And uh, my, my guess is that he's signing the papers with Game of Legion as I make this uh, video. Before I, uh, it is uploaded, he will probably be an official part of uh, Game of Legion. If not, I hope that it's body. And I will, I will get into that. I am, uh, I will go back to existence, what I hope for his sake, what I think his possibilities are, and uh, yeah. So what, what his possibilities are is either he can wait for a few months, see how the new team works out, and if the team doesn't improve, then he will probably come back because he made some incredible stuff for Game of Legion that... I can't imagine anyone but him, maybe Steel, the American Steel, who is back, uh, banned from Valve related events and uh, uh, just uh, ended his contract with the Ghost. He is this kind of player, Crystal is this kind of player, and that's about the smartness I can find this in. Maybe Alex, now that he has matured, not sure. But the, the, the thing is that weird boosts that they were doing on Vertigo that I, I can't see any other player than a really smart meta-breaking IGL doing this. 
So we know that Steele, he more or less is famous. Uh, he was famous, but the five-man boost on the overpass, he has been credited for that one. And that just shows legacy of how smart he is. Oh, uh, Gabi can probably do this as well in big. Uh, so like stuff like that, like meta breaking, doing double, uh, doing boosts that uh, nobody expects, and then utilize it more than once, then make slight adjustments just to not get red, so people don't like pre-aim the same boost position and stuff like that. Existence were amazing coming up with these stuff, and how how well and smooth the gameplay can look when they play better teams, which they have analyzed. The problem is that a lot of teams where they have played, because they have only been top uh, top 30 for three weeks or something like that, so most teams they meet are below team 30, and they can't really have the demos to work with, they can't have the time to see what they want. Uh, and make a proper analysis before the game to read them. But against Fury, they could do it. Against Team Vitality, they can do it. Uh, what was the third top 10 team? They were they met Windigo, which was awful, but that was just poor performance because they were tired. Uh, my, my, my guess. So, so yeah, they, they do play great when they had the... Uh, proper stuff to do. So that's one thing he can do, just wait out a few months, see if this works out, because I don't think that it will. I think it might happen that uh, Dennis being the IGL or Ampus being the IGL, or them sharing like Chox and Amanek do in G2, that could work. Uh, but if it doesn't work and he's still on the roster, uh, on the bench, they can bring him back, kick the element that is the problem or friction for existence right now, which I guess is HS, and bring in, maybe uh, Dennis can play that role as well, because Dennis can play both the entry fragger, he can play AWP, he can play uh, supporting player, so perhaps he is the perfect fit for existence. He is uh, experienced enough, since Hampus and HS and uh, Nork doesn't really have that kind of experience, they have a lot of experience, but not that kind of experience that Dennis has. So perhaps that is an issue, uh, a possibility. Uh, I hope that that's actually a really good version. I was hoping uh, I'll get back to that. Another thing that I was hoping for, or that might happen. Yeah. Uh, another thing, he can go back to go and be a French IGL because there are some teams that lack the IGL right now who speaks French. Uh, What's the name? Uh, I forgot the name, but the the team the which Davidovic plays for right now is it Intense, Incense, something like that. Oh, the L LDLC squad. Uh, they don't have the certain player, so I don't think that is po that that is probable because I don't think Existence want to do that. It's not his cup of tea. Uh, what he had, what else can he do? He can probably do face, but I don't think face want him. Uh, what other EU teams will there be? I don't think there's many EU teams right now that he can play for, but he can wait for the next EU project, or he can start his own French project because at the moment you actually have about as good free agent French players as you have in G2. Vitality, uh, L uh, there's no other good French teams, but yeah, with Kiyoshima, Body, and other players, you could actually build a team with free agents that speak French. It's not impossible. I don't think it's likely that it do that, but it is possible. Uh, what else? What's okay? So, w w what's the possibilities for GL for Game Legion? So they bring in Dennis, Dennis or Hampus will call or they will do a double calling. And I think that this might work out for Game Legion since most of the players are quite flu fluid players. They move around, they try to move around a lot. Uh, they try to be individual but still help each other out. That's one of the weaknesses, like they... 
they want to be individual but have the supportive element but if they don't have the supportive element or if existence and scream was the supportive element and they didn't play off each other that that was a huge issue or is a huge issue for game legion perhaps uh, dennis can bring in a faster pace or another kind of pace and or slow it down he can do actually all of this because he has done this before and you can also see another issue that was one of the latest games I've saw. I don't even recall what game it was, but they played Overpass and it was horrendous. It was being Avangar, I think it was, where they played great CT side, but the T side, which should be their strong suit on a map that they know as well as they do overpass. All the players love overpass and usually frag high on overpass. Uh, but for some reason they couldn't connect the rounds and often they just committed to not just a site but one choke point. And they committed to that choke point for the whole round until it was too late to rotate off of it. And the only rounds that went well was when Hampus went ham or when Scream went ham. And they they didn't play off each other. They didn't move around. They didn't do any fakes. They didn't do like a default setting. They just more or less rushed a choke point, got stuck, and then they stayed in that choke point for the rest of the uh, round until either team won. And usually when you're stuck in a choke point, the CT side almost always win. Especially if you have players like Jame, who was the good player, was Kikit, who played really well in that game? I think it was. doesn't really matter. But the, So perhaps Dennis is more... He's more impatient, so he wouldn't let that happen. If he runs into a choke point and doesn't get out of there, he probably just backs off and find a new loophole, or backs off and get back to the same. Like he doesn't doesn't just stay in the same position trying to fight his way through. He, he's trying something else. So that's something positive that comes out from this, and perhaps just uh, HS and the existence get a break from each other, and that's it. Enough. I don't know. But yeah, that's about it, what I have to say about this uh, subject. I don't think there's anything more to say. I um, hope it's been insightful for you. It's, I just wanted to get this out because I've, uh, I'm have i a huge Game of Legion fan, I'm a Use Existence fan. Uh, and I hope the best to both of them, to all of them. And I hope this works out, even though I highly doubt that this will work out for either one of them. Oh, another thing I want him to do, but uh, this is not the time for it, for his sake. But a good thing for Game of Legion would be to get him as an analyst, because last time I talked to them about an analyst, they don't have an analyst job. Uh, they don't have an analyst working for them. So I hope that this will be... A possibility to move him into analyst. He doesn't have to work directly with the team. He can just relay everything to Krilla, and Krilla will go back to uh, give it back to the team, so they can build off that. Because who is a better analyst than uh, existence? I can can't think of anyone. Maybe Robin in face. Maybe Adren. Maybe oh, who's uh, the good one in uh, C9? Because they have like five different right now. One of them is it Valence? Or is it... Uh, oh yeah, I think it is. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, that, that he could be a great analyst, but he's only 28. I don't think he's ready for that. I don't think he want to do that. Uh, I think he want to be a player, still a player in high competitive CS. And I hope he will.